The alpine environment is a unique and extreme ecosystem characterized by high altitude, low temperatures and low levels of oxygen. Despite the harsh conditions, a diverse range of organisms has adapted to this environment, including plants, animals, and microorganisms. The interactions between these organisms and the alpine environment are complex and dynamic, and they play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. In this passage, we will discuss the interactions between organisms and the alpine environment. Including the adaptations of plants and animals to the extreme conditions, the role of microorganisms in nutrient cycling and ecosystem function. And the impact of human activities on the alpine ecosystem. Plants in the alpine environment have adapted to the extreme conditions in various ways. One of the most common adaptations is the development of small, compact growth forms, such as cushion plants, which protect against strong winds and conserve heat. Other adaptations include the production of thick, waxy leaves to prevent water loss, the ability to store nutrients in underground roots and stems, and the development of specialized pigments to protect against ultraviolet radiation. Some alpine plants, such as the Himalayan blue poppy, have evolved to bloom only during the short summer months, when the conditions are suitable for reproduction. Animals in the alpine environment also have unique adaptations to the extreme conditions. Many alpine animals, such as the mountain goat, have developed thick coats of fur to provide insulation against the cold. Other adaptations include the ability to store large amounts of fat, hibernation during the winter months, and the development of specialized lungs to cope with low oxygen levels. Some alpine animals, such as the pika, have adapted to the short growing season by storing large amounts of food during the summer months to sustain them through the winter. Microorganisms play a crucial role in nutrient cycling and ecosystem function in the alpine environment. Microbes are involved in the decomposition of organic matter, the cycling of nutrients such as nitrogen and carbon, and the fixation of atmospheric nitrogen. The high altitude and low temperatures of the alpine environment can limit microbial activity, but some microbes have evolved to thrive in these conditions. For example, some bacteria and fungi produce specialized enzymes to break down organic matter at low temperatures, and some cyanobacteria can fix nitrogen under low oxygen conditions. The interactions between organisms and the alpine environment are not limited to biological processes. Human activities, such as tourism, mining, and climate change, can have a significant impact on the alpine ecosystem. Increased tourism can lead to trampling and disturbance of vegetation, erosion, and pollution. Mining activities can result in soil disturbance and contamination of water sources. Climate change is also having a significant impact on the alpine ecosystem, including changes in temperature, precipitation patterns, and snow cover. These changes can affect the distribution and abundance of alpine plants and animals, alter nutrient cycling and ecosystem function, and lead to the loss of biodiversity. One of the most significant impacts of climate change on the alpine environment is the melting of glaciers and the reduction of snow cover. Glaciers and snow cover act as natural water reservoirs, releasing water gradually into rivers and streams throughout the year. As glaciers and snow cover disappear, the availability of water decreases, which can affect the survival of alpine plants and animals, as well as the availability of water for human use. The loss of glaciers and snow cover can also lead to an increase in soil erosion and landslides. 
Another impact of climate change on the alpine environment is the shifting of vegetation zones to higher altitudes. As temperatures increase, plants may move higher up the mountains to escape the heat. This can lead to the displacement of alpine plants